Hello, welcome to the daily English news program on Azerbaijan Television with the major developments of the day. I am your host, Ilham Ahmadov. President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, congratulated the Azerbaijani Paralympians for the great results at Tokyo 2020 Summer Paralympics. The head of state made a post on his Twitter account on this occasion. The post reads, I wholeheartedly congratulated Raman Salehi, who made us all joyous with his second gold medal. Lamia Valiva was winning the silver medal and bronze medalist Sayyid Najaf Sadeh. First Vice President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Mehri Banaliva, also congratulated the Azerbaijani athletes who won next medals at Tokyo 2020 Summer Paralympics. In a post on her Instagram page, the First Vice President said, According to the results so far, Azerbaijan has 10 gold, 1 silver and 4 bronze medals. I sincerely congratulate today's winners, Raman Salehi, who won another gold medal, silver medalist Lamia Valiva and bronze medalist Sayyid Najaf Zadeh. I wish our national team new victories and achievements. During the occupation, I have repeatedly stated that we will never accept the situation. We will liberate all the occupied lands, including Shusha, at any cost. Speaking in Shusha, at the opening ceremony of the Days of Vagif Poetry, President Ilham Aliyev once again stated that the Azerbaijan state, relying on international law, restored historical justice 30 years later and returned Karabakh. Every trip of the Supreme Commander-in-Chief, President Ilham Aliyev, to the territories liberated from the occupation, especially to our cultural capital Shushar, is closely observed by Armenians, who were forced to flee our beautiful city about a year ago. The ruthless enemy suffered psychological trauma when it lost Shushar, considered the crown of Karabakh, and lost it to the mighty Azerbaijani army. Armenia's calls to the world community to immediately put pressure on official Baku, arm itself and start a war against Azerbaijan from Russia itself, are aimed precisely at overcoming the state of psychosis. However, it's too late. Azerbaijan on its own, relying on international law, returned its lands occupied 30 years ago. The Armenians were unable to destroy the Azerbaijani traces, the Azerbaijan spirit both in Shushar and in other liberated regions. Having once rejected Baku's proposals for a peaceful solution to the problem, the Armenian government should only blame itself for this crushing loss. I said that if this issue is not resolved peacefully, then we will restore our territorial integrity by military means. All norms and principles of international law recognize this right. This right is given to us by the UN Charter, UN Security Council resolutions, historical justice. We have achieved this. Only an insidious enemy not reconciled with the reality increases the risk of a new war in the region. The new Minister of Foreign Affairs of Armenia and Secretary of the Security Council putting forward dangerous thesis that the war did not lead to a complete settlement of the Karabakh conflict, dreams of reappropriating Azerbaijani lands, including Shusha. To this end, they declare that supposedly through agreements, on the one hand with Russia and on the other hand with the United States, they will implement a plan to grant the status to a handful of lost Armenians. The pretentious allegations that the Armenian army, which is in a terrible state, has grown stronger and has begun three months military exercises, pursue precisely the strengthening of these allegations. The 44-day patriotic war is our glorious history. The story will live forever because this victory has no analogous in history. The Azerbaijani people were worthy of this and we, having claimed the victory, expelled the enemy from our native lands, liberated our cities and our native Shusha. The reality today is that Azerbaijan is restoring the liberated territories including Shusha with an unprecedented speed and people will soon return to their native lands. The events held in Shusha and the inaugurations that took place are not only of moral and symbolic nature but also of a political one. President of Azerbaijan demonstrates a real example of the restoration of cities in which for 30 years the enemy has not laid a single stone, only destroyed, and against the background of his attitude to his native land, deals a crushing blow to the ceases of the lack of justice in the world. But life has shown that there is justice. You just have to be patient. You have to be persistent. You have to believe in justice and try to achieve justice and head towards the goal. Demonstration of dedication is necessary in order to restore justice. Today, we all say in our hearts and openly that yes, there is justice. Justice has been restored. Today, we're in Shusha and from now on, we will live in Shusha forever. Yes, Shusha is restoring its former glory. And as the president stressed, Next year, the 270th anniversary of our cultural capital will be celebrated. In connection with the anniversary, guests from different countries, our compatriots, representatives of friendly countries will gather in Shusha. This very fact is a big announcement of one more promise of the victorious Supreme Commander-in-Chief that was voiced earlier. 
to show to the whole world Shusha and turn it into one of the most beautiful cities on the planet. The rich program of the second day of the Days of Vaigif poetry with 39 years of history held in the cultural capital of Azerbaijan also aroused great interest. People's poets and young poets who came to Shusha presented their performances. Samples of Muram were performed. The poetic composition from Nizami to Vagiv was performed by folk and owned artists. A symposium was also held within the framework of the Days of Poetry. Next meeting of the Working Group on Energy Supply of the Interdepartmental Center operating under the Coordination Headquarters created with the aim of centralized resolution of issues in the territories liberated from the occupation took place. The meeting discussed the ongoing work on the provision of electricity and heating supply to strategic facilities in the city of Shusha. Information was given about electric substations, power lines and boiler houses, the construction of which continues in the city. The work on the construction of the Khudaferin and Gizgalasi hydroelectric power stations with a total capacity of 200 megawatts and 80 megawatts respectively was also reviewed. An exchange of views took place on the creation of gas distribution infrastructure, inventory of gas facilities and protection of the existing infrastructure in this territory. Territories. Representatives of the media of the member states of the Turkic Council and observer states made a trip to the territories liberated from the occupation. They visited the Gargabazar village of the Fizuli region where they got acquainted with the damage inflicted by the Armenians on the Azerbaijani settlements. Foreign journalists met with representatives of the Mine Action Agency, watched the progress of ongoing operations. They've informed that demining of the road infrastructure in the direction of the Gargabazar village is currently underway. On the second section of the road, 289,000 square meters were cleared from mines and exploded ordnance where 174 units of mines and unexploded ordnance were found. It was noted that the demining process is mainly carried out in three ways, manually, mechanically and by means of specially trained dogs. Representatives of foreign media also observed the process of cleaning mines and ammunition found on the territory. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.